Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be transforming our sister into me part two. And today I'm transforming Rayleigh into me. So those of you have requested this video from our last one and thank you for all of the lovely comments on that video. I think this challenge is going to be a lot harder for me because I feel like it's a lot easier to make someone look older than younger because when you're making them look older you can just like put makeup over them to make their face look different and makeup makes you look older to be honest. Mm -hmm. But making them look younger it's going to be hard because you don't put as much makeup on and it's just harder. So I'm going to have to use makeup to make Rayleigh look younger. I think this is going to be even harder for Ruby also because that I'm obviously older than you so I look older already whereas you will look older in the future. I'm not going to look younger again. Yeah. You're going to have to go that extra step whereas I could imagine what you'll look like when you're older to do that. Yeah, that makes more sense because I will get older but you won't get younger so it's harder. And also Rayleigh's had a lot more experience with makeup than me. As always, we want to say thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. We love you all so much and we hope you're enjoying our videos. But if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button to become part of our Our Sister Squad. And also, stay tuned to the end of this video to see two shout outs. And the comments are probably going to be disabled on this video as well. So if they are, head over to the community page and comment all your stuff on there. But we do have comments on the first Transforming Our Sister Into Me video, so shh, YouTube, I think they forgot that one. Tell them, they'll take them all. So let's get started and let's turn my sister into me. So first up is makeup. I don't normally wear makeup and Rayleigh's a lot better at makeup because she sometimes puts some on. And also, I don't normally wear makeup as I said, but I'm going to be putting makeup on Rayleigh to make her look more like me. But I'm going to first put some concealer on Rayleigh's cheeks and under her eyes because Rayleigh, if you can see, I'm more paler than Rayleigh and Rayleigh has more red cheeks on her so I'm going to cover them up with some concealer and I'm probably going to ask Rayleigh for some tips during this because makeup is quite hard for me and so is hair. Do you want me to tie my hair back? Yes please. I should have done that but it's fine, don't worry. Turn to me then. So I'm first going to put it under her eyes and on her red cheeks because I don't have as much red on. So I'm putting it all in the red spot I'm trying to do this thing because I have seen this on James Charles but like he makes this like triangle shape. There you go and I'm now going to blend it in with my beauty blender and this isn't as good as me. You're going to use a dry beauty blender? Nope. So why is your beauty blender like minuscule? It's absolutely tiny but it's really dirty. I think I can get away with it because I don't wear makeup. You can see I've done this side it might need a bit more blending to be honest but She's a lot paler and I will be adding some powder too but I probably will add a little bit more blush because this is taking away every single bit of her colour and I do have a bit of red cheeks. So I'm basically reapplying everything. Like. So mum got me some more water and I'm squeezing it. Out of my drink cup. Um, really wet. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's supposed to be that wet. Okay, so this side is finished except from the head which I'll do now. So that side isn't finished? Yeah, no. Why you got more red cheeks when I put it on? Because my face does that when you're constantly smacking it with a ball. <laughs> with a ball? Yeah, it's a tiny ball. So I finished the concealer now and I'm now going to add some powder to patch up the red bits because the concealer has worked but our nose, like at the sides, they have more red bits than me. So I'm going to add red. Oh, red. <laughs> I'm going to add some powder, cush shaped. My mum gave me this to stay matte. Rimmel London Powder Puddy. Am I going to be that colour? No. I'm just going to add it in like the red places. So her cheeks are still red. I don't know why. It's because that's got blusher on. I have a better brush. <laughs> I'm just covering up all your red bits. So I've finished her powder, I think almost. I just need to do it around here. But she's quite more pale now, I think. I've tried really hard. So this is a brush I'm using, and I'm using Rayleigh's blusher. So I have my, like, red parts here and here, but I don't have much, so I'm just going to put a little bit have on a that. bit on your nose as well. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Put now on your forehead. Okay. You have loads on your forehead. Okay, I don't want to add too much because I don't want you to look really clowny. <laughs> okay, so I finished the blush now. 
I think she looks red now, but I didn't. I try not to put loads on because I don't have loads on. Thank you, though. So now I finished the base look, and I'm now going to add some bigger eyebrows to Rayleigh. Because if you can see here, my eyebrows are a lot bigger. Not really big, but, like, a bit bigger than Rayleigh's and more bushy. So I'm going to try and make them a little bit bigger, and, like, I'm going to, like, What's brush them out more. Mine have, like, a weird arch thing, but yours are kind of like that. They're more... Okay, so now I'm going to use my mum's tiny pencil. So I'm going to draw lines on the front to make it bigger, bushier, and also a bit lighter, probably. Okay, Ruby's got a mirror. I can't look in it, but she's checking out her eyebrows to see if she can get the same. And this is a fun video because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> so I've had some advice from Rayleigh, and I have this brush, and I think I'm going to brush Rayleigh's eyebrows in my direction. So my eyebrows go <laughs> up. And then out, and then a bit up as well here. And go down here. And I'm gonna add some clear mascara to her eyebrows so they stay at the end. Okay, I think I've shaped them a bit. Okay, I've shaped her eyebrows as much as I can. I try pulling them up more, like up a bit, and then like a different shape. I'm gonna use. Mum's brow pencil and then colour them in. So I finished Rayleigh's eyebrows and I made them go out more. So here they are. I'm going to try and make her eyebrows a little bit lighter by adding some powder. Please don't make me look like a naked mole rat. I don't know whether this will work, but your eyebrows are darker than mine, so... So her eyebrows are actually changing now, which I like. So I finished one of the eyebrows, so can you see the difference? Light and dark. And I think it has made a difference. I'm actually scared. I'm so scared. So I've now finished Rayleigh's eyebrows and powder and her face. So now I'm going to add some lip liner because my lips are really big compared to Rayleigh's. So I'm going to outline them to make them look bigger and then I'm going to like... I guess the only word I can think of is colour them in. So I'm going to look at my lips and see what shape and colour I'm going to make Rayleigh's. I just realised I didn't make her lips smaller when I transformed you. And it would have been so easy, I could have just put concealer on. So I'm going to go up and then down. Very easy to outline the real lip. That's my chair. Okay, so I've outlined her lips. Right now it looks really, really bad to be honest. But when I fill it in with lip gloss or lipstick then I think it will look better. So my lips are a mix of these two because this one's too dark, this one's too light. So I'm going to mix them. Smells nice. Look at the camera. <laughs> I don't know whether I made Rayleigh's lips too big, but I certainly made them bigger. So this is the makeup finished, and I think I did quite well. I tried my best. So next up is hair, and as you can see, I don't have any hair extensions, and my hair is naturally very straight, and Rayleigh's hair is naturally very, like, wavy. Fuzzy. Fuzzy, wavy, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put Rayleigh's hair in a ponytail, then I'm going to straighten it. So I have three bobbles, because Rayleigh just told me you need three bobbles to keep it up, which makes sense with that thick hair. Something I thought would be quite fun that you could do is you could take this part of my hair out, like my baby hair, and spray it so it kind of goes like that because your hair does that. Does it? Yeah, it has like a funny thing here, oh, like yeah. a crown. So Rayleigh just finished brushing her hair through, and what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna take out two wispy bits because that's what I always do with it. And I normally take it out when I'm doing my hair, but Rayleigh's hair is so thick it won't work if I do that. So when I finish taking it out, can you hold them while I do your hair? Because mm -hmm. I don't want them to fall out. I'm convinced it was further down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make it longer. So I finished taking the wispy bits out and you're going to have to hold them the entire time, sorry. So can you turn that way then while I do hair? I think we need to get a smaller seat. So you can probably just see Rayleigh. <laughs> I have to get her lower because I'm too short. Flip your head upside down. Your hair is so hard to do compared to my hair. 
This is quite hard because I'm used to thinner, smaller, not as much hair. And Rainy has a lot more hair than me because she's older and a lot of thicker hair. I like the front bits you've taken out, I can never get it right. <laughs> so I've just put the three bubbles in her hair and now, as you said about the crown, I think I'm going to get a bit of your hair out and then I'll spray it. So I've just done Rayleigh's hair in a high ponytail like mine. So if you can see here, I have like a sticky up and I'm going to try and do that with Rayleigh's hair. It's like a crown, it's like the residue of a crown. I'd go like that. Okay, can you hold it like that and I'll spray it with this hairspray. Okay, I'm gonna like shape it out. It's stuck to your head. <laughs> and then I think that crown bit's done. So that's our hair. And Ruby's done the crown on me and a bit of baby hair here. But you've got to straighten it, haven't you? Yeah, so now let's get the straighteners out. So the hair straighteners are just turning on now and then my mum's GHD, so apparently I have to be careful. But I'm now going to straighten Rainy's hair. I'm not going to go any further up because I know that I will ruin something if I do. I just need to get the frizz out. I don't want it to be really straight. Looks good. There. So I finished Rainy's hair now. So this is our hair. So now I'm gonna put one accessory in your hair. Oh, 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 oh! I have that. So that's the hair done. on to round three which is outfit and I went to the shops and bought you and me some clothes and it still has the labels on I haven't had mine on before so I'm really excited to show you I hope you like it this is a definite ruby look so I'm gonna get yours out now I'm scared of this it's gonna be like a top thing unicorns for life <laughs> rainbow squad don't open your eyes I'm gonna just show them here it is it's nice Pretty colour. Is it like a dress that says like hashtag? Oh. Over your eyes. Oh wait, I actually like that. Do I, you? I would genuinely buy that type of thing. Wait, let me get mine on. Wait, I like that. That's, that's cute. So wear your leggings with it really, I'll put mine on. But we'll go back to you in a second. So we now have our t-shirts on and our leggings. Do you like it? Yeah, it's, I would buy this t-shirt. I Actually, I don't think I'd buy the t-shirt, but I like it. I, like I buy this t-shirt. Actually, I don't think I'd like yeah. buy it, but I like it. I've taken all my jewellery off apart from this because Ruby and I have matching bracelets. I also haven't looked. We've covered mirrors and I haven't looked at what I've been like that. So I haven't seen any of what I look like and I'm scared about that. But I've taken the rest of my jewellery off. I need to take my earrings out. Yeah, you do because I have pissed my ears because I'm scared of it. And also, if you can see here, I have this one from my gran. And I don't have any like duplicate of it, obviously, because I don't have two of them. But I tried to find one that was as similar as this in my room, and I found the closest one I could. So that brings me on to round four, really, which is the accessories. So the closest bracelet I could find to this one was... Oh, that's quite cute. It's the closest. I actually got that in Spain, too. Yeah, that's cute. So there are our first accessories, and then for the final accessory, this is my favourite part. I don't know if you'll like, like it a lot because you're not into these, but I'm showing you. Cactus! They're gonna be this colour. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Wait, like that's actually kind of nice. It's pretty, isn't it? So this is the last thing, and we're gonna do a final reveal in three, two, one. So now we finished the transformation and I think Bailey looks a lot more like me than before and Bailey, I'm about to show you, are you ready for it? No. No. <laughs> okay, let me get the mirror. Are you ready? No. Nope. So, this is what you should look like. And you ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Wait. Oh. Hmm. You can definitely see the differences between us. I think I did quite well. You did well though. It's quite, wait, let me hold on. Your lips definitely show it off. My lips are popping. Yeah, the lips are a bit big. Eyebrows. <laughs> the eyebrows are funny. But you made my eyebrows funny. You can't say much. Oh, it's not perfect. And we kind of got that hair thing. 
we got it right. And the cat is quite good. I look more like you than I did before. So I think you definitely got the eyebrows. I think the eyebrows are on point, apart from a bit darker, but there's not much we could do about that. I mean, you did try and they're pretty good. I think the skin is a bit dark, but I think that's because of mum's concealer. And I think it might also be because I was looking up close. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. The lips are on point. The lips were really good. I did find it really hard, especially the makeup. That was probably the hardest bit. Make sure you head over to the community page and comment how you think I did. But now we're gonna do stuff at the same time. So what do you wanna do? So it's up to you. Oh, that's fine. And then go like this. So that's the end of my turning my sister into me. We really hope you enjoyed it. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Chloe McClelland. Thank you so, so, so much for watching our videos and commenting nice things on our community page. Remember to comment on the community page. The second shout out goes to Must Potato Head. Thank you so much for commenting on our community page, being really sweet and hashtagging our sister squad. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early school we love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video we really 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 hope you enjoyed it we love you bye so loads of people sorry so i'm going to have to use the makeup to make really and we are also oh i say also again and also I'm supposed to say it then head over to the community <laughs> page oh, 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 oh mommy just tripped over not how you put blush on someone's nose. Still not how you put blush on someone's nose. <laughs> Is that a chicken? Oh, that keeps happening. Hi guys, it's Ruby from Ruby Rose UK and welcome back to my channel. That's not exactly how I talk. Then this. Well <laughs> Lift up. Ooh. Ooh. Get it go, get it go, get it down, down.